how can we use these limiting factors to our advantage in trying to minimize contamination or minimize the pathogen growth. It's a hurdle concept. And this is essentially if we have a pathogen that can survive at a range of temperatures, but if we take it down to maybe a little bit lower than what it's comfortable surviving at. So we're already stressing that pathogen. And then we add possibly a lower pH that it's not comfortable at. So it's essentially trying to stress out the microorganism enough that it isn't able to survive. So it's essentially combining several thresholds so that you're going to limit the microbial growth. The bottom one shows if you increase the temperature, maybe not enough that it's going to affect the quality of the produce, but if you're increasing the temperature to a little bit higher than the pathogen is comfortable, so it's stressing itself out, it's using more energy than it normally would. And then if you also maybe decrease the amount of water availability while increasing the pH, eventually the pathogen's gonna die because it runs out of energy, it's not able to cope with that environment.